Here in Wisconsin, we have clubs where everyone's invited. Today, we're exploring an essential part of Wisconsin's culinary culture, the Supper Club. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows down Let's take a ride The Goodlands Great Tonight Supper clubs have been a Wisconsin tradition for more than 100 years, blending fine dining with a welcoming Wisconsin spirit. When you visit a Wisconsin supper club, you're sure to find good food, good company, and memories that will last a lifetime. Wisconsin is home to hundreds of supper clubs, but thanks to Travel Wisconsin's Supper Club Showdown, people from across the country voted to determine the top 10 supper clubs in our state. And I'm heading to four of them to discover the stories behind these dining destinations. But before we set out on our supper club tour, let's ask the question on everyone's mind. What exactly makes a supper club a supper club? Holly DeRuder is the director of the documentary, Old Fashioned, the story of the Wisconsin Supper Club. While making the film, she traveled to more than 50 supper clubs throughout the state to try and answer that very question. It is difficult to put a hard definition on a supper club, but it's a place that's usually only open in the evening, family owned and operated. There's a designated bar and dining area. And when you walk in, you wanna go to that bar right away because that's the start of your evening. Supper clubs were a big dining trend across the whole country, and especially in the 1950s. But in the Midwest, it really took hold, especially in Wisconsin. And what are a couple of classic supper club dishes or beverages? Classic supper club food is surf and turf. For drinks, it's always the old fashioned. The brandy old fashioned is king in Wisconsin. It's a whole different atmosphere, isn't it? Because so many restaurants, you know, you go in, they serve you, they want you out, yep. they gotta turn the table. And it's a relaxing experience. It's a little bit of the past. Oh yeah, for sure, it's an evening out. You're not looking to dine and dash, you're there for the evening. And I think it was that feeling of coming home, that you're welcome, that it's a place that you can relax and everybody's there to be engaged with each other. If you're looking for a destination that's unique and you're gonna really connect with the people around you and have a great dining experience, you need to come out and check a Wisconsin Supper Club. We're kicking off our statewide Supper Club tour at Buckhorn Supper Club in Milton. Located on the shore of Lake Kashkanan, the views here are just as incredible as the food. How does the location on this gorgeous lake enhance the experience for people? It really is special to a lot of people that come out here. Not everyone gets to look out over a lake every day, so to come here, that surely enhances their dining experience. The restaurant business is a tough business. What keeps you in it? Well, it's really about people. Our customers really enjoy sharing their life experiences and, and, and ours with them. It's a people deal. Well, as you know, I have loved your food here for many, many years. What are some of your specialties? Well, our prime rib is probably be what we're most known for. We have served prime rib every night that we're open, I think for all of 65 years. And of course, one thing is now our, our live lobster boils. We do two of them every month, all summer long. Uh, 100, 100 lobsters at a time we prepare, and, and it's just a great party on the lake. When folks come to the Buckhorn, what do you want them to feel with this experience? We really want them to take everything in, it, the, the sights, the sounds, the smells, and we want them to know that we recognize them, we appreciate that they're here, and, and we really want them to go away thinking, boy, that family really welcomed us into their home. The warm hospitality here is one of the many reasons the Buckhorn is one of my favorite supper clubs. Over the years, I've gotten to know Chico and his wife Dawn, enjoyed a few slices of their famous peanut butter pie, 
and even filmed a commercial here for Travel Wisconsin. Cheers. But one of my favorite parts of visiting the Buckhorn is enjoying one of their more popular house drinks. I just happen to have two of them here. <laughs> the Klett cocktail is named after the famous Stephanie Klett. So what is in the Klett cocktail? It's a secret ingredient, but the main ingredient is the Door County cherry juice. It makes the cocktail, it supports Wisconsin business, and it is delicious. All right. Each supper club has its own unique atmosphere, but the classic Wisconsin comfort food is a big part of the experience. Number three on our list of favorite Wisconsin supper clubs has these classic recipes down to a T. Welcome to Layman's Supper Club in Rice Lake. You've been here for generations. How did Layman start? It actually started with my grandfather, who in the early 30s, they opened a bar and they served the local clientele. My parents got involved and then we got involved and all our children are involved and there's like eight decades gone by. You are generations of Layman's running the supper club. A lot of supper clubs are like that. Why is that? Well, I think that, you know, you kind of get pulled into it in the beginning and it gets in your blood. Well, I imagine being part of Rice Lake for so many generations, you have to have a special relationship with the community. They've been so supportive of us throughout the years that we couldn't survive without the local people. We're blessed to know so many people and have so many good friends and customers, and so it's the people. Layman's prides itself on mastering all of the classic supper club dishes you crave as well as a few items with a twist. So I sat down with the layman's, as well as Mary Bergen, author of the Wisconsin Supper Club Cookbook, to sample a few of their house specialties. Okay, Butch and Trudy, I'm taking all of your recommendations with this, this dinner. And this looks amazing. And then I see we also have onion rings and what? your favorite steak. These are actually green pepper rings. Oh, green pepper. Everybody does onion oh. rings, right? What do people consider the classic supper club fare? I'd still think you're looking at a nice steak. Maybe now with an accompaniment, but still it's steak and potatoes. And those are like standard, standard. favorites, but yes. you also do significant things to the standard to surprise people. You know, I thought for sure these are deep fried onion rings and here we have the green peppers instead. I thought these were bacon wrapped water chestnuts, they're scallops, so you've surprised mm -hmm. me that way too. If I remember right, you have 30 some soups mm -hmm. that you will rotate, wow. so one mm -hmm. for each day of the month. Yes. And the one that you offered for my cookbook, the BLT soup, it requires a, a good amount of cream. So well, cream, there you you uh, cream go and butter. No wonder <laughs> yes. it's so good. Yeah. Now Mary, when you wrote your book, what were a couple things that surprised you? The diversity of the cuisine. The stereotype is great steaks, baked potatoes, fried fish, prime rib, but I was pleasantly surprised that it was a lot more than that. Even if you want to eat healthy, you have an option to eat healthy. You have great wine lists, cocktails, but it's really something that everyone can agree on. When you come to Layman's, essentially the food is the premiere. It's the showcase. It's what you're really here for. And I think you'll find that true, though, of most supper clubs, not just us. That's the difference in the cooking. They all do things from scratch, which becomes labor intensive, but that's how you want to do it. Because you just do get your best shot every day and do everything the way you're supposed to do it. Was there a theme as you went supper club to supper club that just hit you smack in the face? Well, the sense of community. When I am asked what makes a supper club different from any other restaurant, I think it comes down to a sense of community because you can talk about, well, it's open just for supper or it's independently owned and you know, there's prime rib on Saturday and a relish tray that comes to the table. You feel like you belong. You feel like it's a place to go to for the evening. It's a place where the owner knows your name if you are a repeat customer. In this land where we have all these choices for dining, it's getting more rare for a customer to stay loyal to a business, but supper clubs invite that and get that. Here, here. I Amen. could not yes. agree more with that. Nice job, Isn't that the truth? Yeah. 
Mary yep. Bergen speaks the truth. The check is in the mail. <laughs> When it comes to Wisconsin supper clubs, location is everything. From lakeside patios to cozy Northwoods dining rooms, the atmosphere is as much a part of the experience as the food. And nobody knows this better than Ron Fayola, author of the book, Wisconsin Supper Clubs, an old fashioned experience. He's traveled to dozens of supper clubs across the state, documenting his experiences along the way. I met up with Ron at Pinewood Supper Club in Mosinee, known for its outstanding location on Half Moon Lake, and voted number two on our list of top 10 supper clubs. It is gorgeous here. I love the Pinewood, yeah. What do you love about it? Just the, the amazing views. Obviously the food and service here, you've got the view and the trees and the lake and a really relaxed location. How important is location to a supper club? Very important. I mean, you know, some supper clubs are in more urban areas. Places like this where you can have a great view, that's a big part of it. What is the appeal of a Wisconsin supper club? It's a, a trip back to the restaurant of yesteryear, really. You go in and there's no TVs on the wall. It's an authentic dining experience that people have had for decades. I spend a lot of time on the road uh, visiting each club and each place has a little slightly different character and atmosphere and it was really enjoyable. The character of the Pinewood is on full display with a cozy dining room and gorgeous lakefront during any season. But if you visit during the holidays, you're in for a real treat. You have it decked out for the holidays, and I know there's some serious work that went into this. This isn't just a few lights. You have really gone out. It takes us a couple days to get everything in and assembled. We usually start preparing right around Thanksgiving because from uh, the Thanksgiving day through mid-February, we do Christmas parties. Well, you know, you had so many votes in our Travel Wisconsin Supper Club Showdown contest. What is the appeal of the Pinewood Supper Club? It's a great spot because we were built so long ago, we're right on the edge of the water, so it is really gorgeous. We give them the, the whole package, the lake, the food, the service, and just pure enjoyment. And I know that no supper club is successful without a great team. So what can you tell me about your team? Uh, we have a number of people that have been here for 10 plus years. My kitchen staff's great. My, the guys I work with are great. Uh, and they stick with us. We're a real team. What are a few of your most favorite or popular items on the menu? Well, probably the crab stuffed salmon is a good item, and Cracker Crusted Walleye has been popular for a long time. Well, you know, when folks come here, and I have been here when it is absolutely packed, what is the experience you hope that they walk away with? I hope that they've, they've come, they've enjoyed all of it, that it's been warm and welcoming, and that they've enjoyed their dinner and had a great social experience also. Our last stop on our Wisconsin Supper Club tour was voted number one in the state. And starting from the very moment you pull your car in the drive or boat up to the dock, it's easy to see why. Nestled in the heart of Mirror Lake State Park, you'll find Ishnella, where the very best of Wisconsin Supper Club traditions come together in one incredible setting. This is spectacular. People must say to you, the, the experience starts before you even enter the right. restaurant. Well, the drive. When you came in today, you probably saw the different signs yes. and the trees on the side of the road. You feel like you're entering a different dimension. You're above the stress zone, and you're feeling so relaxed. And just to take in that supper club feel, yes. have a couple of drinks, and just enjoy what nature has given us. What's the history of Ishnella Supper Club? started out as an old trading post in the late 1800s, and then in 1909, a family called the Coleman family bought the property and built their dream home. And then in 1953, the Huffman brothers bought the property and added the two decks, three bars, and the dining room. 
Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Mirror Lake, looks like a mirror all the time. It's quiet, kayaks, canoes, pontoon boats, no wake lake. It is so peaceful, it's incredible. One of the things I like about your restaurant is that you've incorporated so many natural outdoor elements inside the restaurant, including trees. When the place was built in 1953, there were 13 live Norway pines growing through the roof. They built around the trees, and you had to keep opening up the roof because the trees were swaying. So there are still three trees that are live after 65 years. Does it surprise people when they find out you don't take reservations? Once they've been here, they understand it. We serve a lot of people, and it just works out well. Plus, it, it enhances the experience. And people don't mind waiting because you have a beach, you have different layers of decks inside and outside in different bars. So that's kind of part of the experience too, isn't it? It is the whole experience. You can walk the trails, you can go to one of the bars, you can sit on the decks. And we've taken great pride to maintain the beauty so you can have that experience. I am most proud of the fact that we continue the tradition that started in 1953 for the Huffman Brothers that I worked for as a busboy. And we continue to give people a great experience at a, an awesome supper club. And a major part of the Ishnella experience is enjoying one of their famous old fashions. While you can find an old fashioned at every supper club, it's been said that Ishnella's is the best. Throughout all my years of working to promote Wisconsin tourism, I've visited hundreds of places and met thousands of people. But one thing I know for sure, you cannot beat the Supper Club experience. And there's no better place I'd rather live, work, and play than Wisconsin. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.